Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in June of last year, just over a year ago, when Microsoft rolled out Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft announced Recall, which ended up being a controversial AI feature designed to basically give you access to past activity on your PC by taking screenshots and anything else that happened really on your on your computer, on the screen. And because of this, obviously there was a bit of backlash, well, a lot of backlash actually, where users lost a lot of trust in Microsoft because of privacy and security reasons. And then Microsoft went back to the drawing board um, in the Insider program and then and then started reworking Recall in the Insider program. And it has made its way to Copilot Plus PCs again in the stable version, but it's still in preview and Microsoft is still working on it and rolls out quite frequent updates. So that's just a brief history regarding Recall. Now, as I've posted previously, and I'll leave this video linked, because of the privacy aspect of Recall Signal, which is a messaging app, as you may well know, implemented an opt-out feature called Screen Security to prevent its chats from being captured. Check the video out for more information. And that was received with quite a lot of positive review. Now, Brave Browser is jumping on the same bandwagon and has announced over on X that it's also going to block recall by default with its version 1.1 update. We are currently on version 180. 1.81 is going to be rolling out. We just quickly head to the calendar. It's going to be rolling out the week, the first week of August. So I would suggest anywhere from the 6th or the 7th, we should see version 1.81. Anyway, Brave has announced that with version 1.81, it will be blocking recall by default. So if we head to a little video clip provided by Brave over on X, Brave has said this, and I'm quoting, your browsing isn't private if Windows 11 is taking screenshots of everything you do. Brave will block the controversial feature Microsoft Recall by default with our version 1.81 update. So obviously there will be a, a setting in the settings. So obviously there will be a toggle in settings and you'll be able to turn that on and off according to your own personal preference and that will be on by default. Now Brave has also had this to say from the official announcement in Microsoft's favor. It says Microsoft has, to their credit, made several security and privacy positive changes to recall in response to concerns. And Brave says still the feature is in preview and Microsoft plans to roll it out more widely soon. What exactly the feature will look like when it's fully released to all Windows 11 users is still up in the air, but the initial tone deaf announcement, according to Brave, does not inspire confidence. So that's why they add in the setting. Brave carries on to say, given Brave's focus on privacy maximizing defaults and what is at stake here, your entire browsing history, we have proactively disabled recall for all Brave tabs. We think it's vital that your browsing activity on Brave does not accidentally end up in a persistent database, which is obviously especially ripe, they say, for abuse in high privacy sensitive cases. So blocking all tabs, by the way, will also include private browsing in Brave, although Microsoft did say that um, private browsing windows would not be saved as screenshots by recall. But although Microsoft did say that Brave will still not allow it to even access the private browsing tab, and how this is all going to be happening with this, Brave says that it is telling the operating system that every Brave tab is private, not just private browsing. So recall never captures it. And Brave also says that it is the only major web browser that disables Microsoft Call by default in all tabs. And I've always said that Brave, when it comes to private browsing, is most probably one of your better browsers out there, in my personal opinion. Obviously, you've got the cryptocurrency side of things, but you can turn all of that off if you, if you wish to and you don't use those features. And Brave also says that it was partly inspired by Signal's blocking of recall, as I mentioned earlier. So what do you think? If you are using Brave, which I know a good couple of you are, move in the right direction or not, let me know your thoughts down below. I personally think it is a good move. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.